So all three of the plays in the trilogy um, are fan fiction that Lauren and Margot wrote with the idea of what what if what happens to the other Bennett sisters from Pride and Prejudice? We know what happens to Lizzie and Jane at the end of Pride and Prejudice, but we still have Kitty, um, Lydia, and Mary that that are just kind of like left. And they are such lovers of Pride and Prejudice and of Jane Austen's work. They wanted to create basically fan fiction for let's create the futures of the other Bennett sisters. And so that's exactly what these plays are. The first play is Miss Bennett, which is um, um, Mary Bennett finding herself and finding the love of her life. And um, the Wickhams is focusing on Lydia Wickham, nay Lydia Bennett, uh, who, if you read Pride, Pride and Prejudice, she was kind of married off to um, George Wickham in order to save her reputation. Uh, and this story is her finding finding herself in that. And what does she want for her life? And then the, th the third play in the trilogy is about um, Kitty and Georgiana. Kitty being the, 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 one, the Bennett sister we have left, and Georgiana being um, uh, Darcy's sister. I think these, um, the Christmas at Pemberley trilogy is particularly interesting because, one, we don't have a whole lot of Christmas programming. There are not a lot of... Christmas plays out there. Um, you have a million and one versions of A Christmas Carol, right? And it's a story I love. We all love it. It's gorgeous. It, it's, you know, it's, it's heart and redemption. It's, it's a beautiful, wonderful story. Charles Dickens was not the only writer. <laughs> um, and I think what's amazing is that they, they are such... Um, feminists, Lauren and Margot, that they were like, you know what? Um, Jane Austen wrote some amazing stuff as well with some characters that really speak to the hearts of women. And what can we do um, to take her work and her characters and grow grow them you know give give them the the futures that they deserve and um these these pieces these three pieces are are i mean they're extremely feminist in nature because these are the women you know lizzie lizzie um before she married darcy she was the one who in pride and prejudice if you remember she was the one who said it's better to be alone than to be with a man that I don't love. And at that time period, 1815, oh my gosh, that any woman would say that. They were bred to believe that marriage was the only goal. And here was a woman that's saying, no, that's not good enough for me. And all of her sisters have their own issues to overcome, to define themselves the way Lizzie does in Pride and Prejudice. And that's what's gorgeous about these shows. And they're all set at the holidays when, you know, there's this great line in the show where it's like, I don't know what it is about Christmas, but everyone is so much more so than they already are, you know? And it's so true. Um... Come join us. It's our 55th season. We made it through a global pandemic. Not every theater company can say that. I'm unbelievably proud of the, um, the actors, the crew, the designers, the entire team that worked on this show. We have a beautiful set. We have an incredible script. And we have an entire house here waiting for you. Come join us.